guys, this is Marina. Um, I've just flooded this canvas. I don't want to bore you with um, me flooding the canvas. I'm actually painting over another painting. It wasn't too bad, but the colours just seemed a little bit dull. So instead of wasting the canvas, this is for my guest room. It's um, got greens and browns and beige. So I'm wanting to make something green that will brighten the room up a little bit. I'm just torching the bubbles. Okay, let me just move spots here. Okay, my sides are just touching them up quickly. Uh, I'm going to be doing a swipe here um, and I'm going to be using different variations of green. So let's see how this goes and I'm going to attempt a sort of long leafy effect. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to start with the darkest green. Oopsie. Um, where is my Okay, this, um, my paints are all um, from Dollar or Heritage paints. So I'm not going to put too much paint on my canvas because I find it just, it's, it's a waste to have too much paint. Right, so I'm going to go from one end to the other end. I always say that and then I do something else, you know. <laughs> right, so I'm going to do... Uh, Dark green, light green, sort of different variations of green, and a little bit of brown, and maybe a little bit of gold. Oh, there was a lot of green there on that corner. No problem. Um, I've got all sorts of greens here because when I scraped a canvas, um, trying to do different greens, I've got this colour, which um, it's not a bad colour. Oh gosh, I'm going to have so much paint on that side. That's what happens when you pour out of these. I prefer pouring out of a squeezy bottle, but I don't have all my colours in a squeezy bottle. So we'll just have to do with this. Okay, um, lime green. Oh, actually this is leaf green. Let me start from this side because I keep doing too much paint on the one side. Okay, that's a very pretty colour. It's called leaf green from Heritage Paints. Okay, and then um, this bright, well, primary green actually. But I'm thinking I should put the primary green in between these two. Let me try that. This, these two colours look a bit dull together and that was the problem I had with my previous painting. It was just too dull. Okay, um, now a little bit of gold. This is not the best gold, I must be honest. Um, the mi I've mixed it, but the, the, it's, a, it's supposed to be a metallic gold, but it's, but it's when I mix it, I've got to keep stirring it because the medium and the paint separates all the time. Even though I only mixed this yesterday, it separated. So, and I can't get a thicker consistency, it's just so weird. So I'm going to use a very little of this. Um, well, we'll see. I say very little and then I go mad. I'm going to sort of drizzle it in between, not just have a line of it, so that it can maybe give little pops of colour here and there. We'll see. That's the plan anyway. Um, and I'm wanting the edges to have a lighter colour, so we'll see. Oh, and then the other colour is my brown. Give me one second. I like brown, I like to bring it. 
is it actually some fell off the shelf, the curtain blew, and um, my paint fell off the shelf, but it's all good. It's closed, or the container is closed, and this is just a light brown from Heritage, uh, no sorry, Craft Paint, it's just in the tube. Okay, where should I put this? Um, I think between, no, I'm going to pour it over as well. Um, not have it as a separate colour. I hope this works. I've got something in my mind, but you know what it's like. Whatever's in your mind never really works out too. Okay, and I'm swiping with just white. I've got no silicone in these paints as far as I'm aware. There might be silicone in some of the paints that I mixed before, and um, like that green that I showed you, this green here. Um, there might be silicone in the paint because I pre-mixed it and I, I can't remember what I squabbed off that painting. Anyway, right. So, white on the edge here that I'm going to swipe with. And let's hope for the best. Right, guys, uh, you can still see me. Right, I'm going to be using this little spatula tool. Um, sorry about the shadow. I don't know how to handle all these lighting and what have you yet. But if you have a look at the size of my finger compared to the size of the spatula, you'll get an idea. And this is an A two canvas right so let's try i'm going to swipe from well let me just give it a go and see what happens from anyway <laughs> okay i'm just going to go randomly or uh, oopsie i shouldn't be pulling it over the canvas as you can see it's dropping uh, wipe it on that side My white is quite liquidy, uh, which I like. Normally, I end up having my white too thin, too thick, too something, but it seems to be the right consistency today. Too hard on the canvas there. I'm much preferring these colours. Gosh, the other colours I had was just too dull. Um, I needed to brighten it up a little. Is this looking like a leaf? <laughs> I think it is. This looks like gardeny anyway, outdoorsy type of thing. Um, I don't know why. It's just scraping on the on the edge. Oopsie. I don't need to play too much with that because I don't want too much distortion. So I'm not going to talk much. Okay. I'm using the corner now to try and get a little bit more of a pointy. These have not gone all the way to the edge. I am swiping through again. looks pretty cool. That brown is actually quite nice. That light brown and then the little bit of gold in between 
It's actually really pretty. Now I'm going to get my other swiping tool with a bit of a point. I hope I don't mess this up. Let me just try one over here and if it doesn't work we can always just cover it off. I'm so happy I um, painted over that I, that I painted because that was really dull. This is so much brighter and prettier. I just don't like these drops here, but I suppose it adds to the. Hmm. Does it or doesn't it? <laughs> to do or not to do? Uh, or to be or not to be? Let's see. Okay, I'm actually scared to torch because I don't want there to be too many cells that get all distorted here because there's quite a bit of white. But there it goes, let's see what happens. No silicone in my paint as I told you, but there might be some in that green green, but I don't think so. This is just the cells that are appearing now apparently from using different brands of colours. charcoal colour in where I didn't have charcoal. I just, um, it's that really dark green with the white has actually turned it into a grey. I'm actually thinking that that's what's caused that um, because I had the darkest colour here on the edge, remember, and mixed with the white, it almost looks black, dark grey charcoal. But I think it adds its character. You see, look at these cells that are coming up here. It almost looks like a spine. Um, wow, I actually like that. I hope it stays this way. I don't want these cells to get too much bigger. Um, that's what I was afraid of just now. But um, I don't know if it looks like leaves anymore. It did, and now that it's got all these cells, it looks like something else. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my word. Um, there's some really cute cells over here, really pretty, with that pop of green and a dark green outline. Um, I like the cells, the individual, what's happening, but I don't know if I like the overall picture. But I think I'm actually going to, to leave it and bring it up to have a look. A little bit closer. Hope you can see. Yeah, 
that's it that was my garden swipe <laughs> oh and that was the intention anyway but i'll see i've got other things happening here anyway this is abstract art eh? even though i had my silicone lots of reaction with the different paints that i was using um, which is quite cool so we'll see i suppose it depends on how you hang it this was my view so the opposite to what you're seeing that i imagined but maybe what you're seeing is something different and if you hang it on the side it might be something different again so yeah i'm not gonna fill <laughs> I always tend to overdo things, which I really don't want to do. Okay, that's it. I think it was a success. Right, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Actually, I decided I don't, I don't really like what's happening here. So I'm going to swipe through again. Um, and hopefully I'll get more of what I'm looking for. If not, we'll just wipe the canvas again. And I'll always just start in the middle somewhere. Let's see. I think there's enough paint on here. Have a look, see. Oh, there's my paper towel. Let's see. I hope I don't get too much soul reaction here. See, that's what I want. I don't want all that soul reaction. So, maybe if I take some of this paint off, I won't get that much. Let's hope for the best. I don't know, you probably thought, ah, oh, that looked fine. Oopsie, let's crack the canvas there. Um, but it just wasn't what I wanted. No, I don't know if I messed it up. <laughs> um, my camera seems to be sagging because I keep hitting the edges, not a smooth gradient over it. Um, yeah, I didn't want anything too hectic, but now I think I might have might be too boring. I don't know. No, I like it. Well, let's see. The torch just because I you know there's air bubbles now after the last one.
can anyone will really mind this in the bedroom it's got calming colors a little bit of soul going on but that's fine um, at least it's not just just a little bit here they oh, just very ever so slight and I much prefer this okay guys <laughs> I'll just I'm just looking to see if there's any more cells that are going to be popping up but um, no, I don't mind I just the thing is I don't want the cells to pop up and expand everything I just want little cells with different colors that I had popping through which is fine there's a little bit more that's happening now but at least it's not those big cells that wasn't what I wanted I don't mind them but not in this particular painting so there he goes um, I think you'd agree with me that this is much better and obviously I don't have as much paint on the canvas anymore I hope you can see that. There we go. Sorry, I've got a tripod in front of me, so I can't go much further than that. But hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. A little bit of cell action going on there. Okay, alright. Thanks for watching. I think this, I'm much happier with this. Thanks guys. <laughs> Next time.